Yeah, this morning, relatives of murder victims, a conservative religious leader, and a former sheriff, along with several others, gathered to call for the removal of state attorney Aramis Ayala. Now, one of the more passionate speakers was former Orange County Sheriff Kevin Berry, who said there should be no question that accused cop killer Markeith Lloyd deserves the death penalty. When you stand over a police sergeant who's been promoted to lieutenant because she's passed away and you pump multiple rounds into her after she was already shot, and if that doesn't warrant the death penalty, then I don't know what the hell does. Good morning to everybody. It's good to see everybody again after... Now, during the rally here, relatives of murder victims, including the father of Alex Zaldivar, who was killed in a 2012 home invasion, stated their belief that Ayala is doing an injustice to families whose, whose loved ones have been victims of homicides. And in the opening prayer, conservative religious leader John Book alluded to biblical justification for capital punishment. Meantime, a group of supporters of the state attorney left Orlando this morning for another rally at the state capitol in Tallahassee. We're standing with Aramis to let her know that the overreach the governor has taken um, is not appropriate. It's downright disrespectful. It is discriminatory and it takes away her credibility as someone that we in Orange County elected to actually represent us. Now, that rally in Tallahassee is set to kick off in just a few minutes at 1230. Back here at the courthouse, at least two speakers at this rally called not only for Governor Scott to remove Ayala from office, but they also boldly suggested that the best replacement for the state attorney would be former Chief Justice Belvin Perry. Perry is now in private law practice and has not gone on the record stating whether he would even consider that possibility. I'll have much more on both rallies coming up tonight on West 2 News at 4, 5, and 6. Live at the Orange County Courthouse, Amanda Ober, West 2 News.